Hi right, guys, and today I've got some FIFA 13 content, like I said I was going to do, because I was going to get it on pre-release, which I did, uh, at midnight release, sorry. So, I'm going to do some of this, and I'm going to do career mode with the Oxlade Chamberlain, and as you can probably tell by the title, and maybe the thumbnail, and if that's if you, if you saw the thumbnail, I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Oxlade Chamberlain, and hopefully make him the new Messi, because he's got a lot of, um, a lot of potential, and I reckon he'll become close to Messi, Maybe not exactly as messy, you know, not as good, um, but I reckon he'll be close around that. So that's what we're going to do, and it'll be pretty fun because you can now do a lot more things with uh, play the career mode, like go off and go to England or, your, you know, your nationality, and um, go play for them. So it'll be pretty cool. So we're going to run through the settings that I'm going to have, and so we're going to have professional, just because, you know, then I can, you know, pass it around a bit more, and not just go for goals 24-7 if I just had amateur. So we're going to go for professional. We're going to go for 5 minutes, and I'm going to have, um, this doesn't make any difference to me, um, determines how much cash income from a player sales will go towards the transfer budget, which I'm not going to be the manager, so, um, you can actually become the manager after so long, when you retire you become the manager, but it won't make any difference right now, so we're going to go Sterling, that's just because I'm used to Sterling, and then squad use default, I'm going to download later, just in case there is uh, a new one. And then European competition in first season. We're going to do this because this is going to be pretty fun. And so it's a new added feature. So we press X. And here we are. This is what we've got. Which I tried it just then. Like I failed to record. And then we actually got a good one. But this seems fine. Like I said, I don't mind. We've got Brian Munich there. And we don't, can we draw again? We can draw again. Yeah, this is what. This is the R. Oh, this, this is just what I got. Which is perfect. This is what I want. So we're going to confirm that. So we got that. We've got everything here. So we're going to advance now. And so what I'm going to do per episode, oh we didn't download latest crap, uh, what I'm going to do per episode is play like 3 to 4 games, record all the goals, goals even, I'm trying to say a weird accent then, I'm going to record all the goals and then you know do them into sort of like a highlights and then commentate over them, and then if any transfer news comes up I'll probably so show them after the goals, and just show you who might be going to what team and where, who goes where, and show you if anything pops up for me. And so I'll show you the menus, I'll show you what it's like to become, you know, a player, I should say. And so it does look very nice, it looks a lot, a lot better than a FIFA 12. Uh, at first I thought, you know, it didn't really look as good, but it looks okay. I've got to admit. So obviously Chamberlain ready for England Challenge. So like I said, you can play for your country now, which is pretty cool, which didn't add in FIFA 12, which was pretty, I wasn't really too happy about, but I'm glad they added it into this. So just wait for this to load, and I'm already level 31. And I have bought some stuff. Um, I think I bought two celebrations: the the Balotelli one. I did the moonwalk one, where he flicks his fingers, turns around, just the moonwalk. And then I did two FIFA, uh, two uh, Ultimate Team ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna call this Ox. Oh, Ox. Oh, okay, the spell. Ox Lade. I'm gonna call Ox Lade. No quick point in his last name because I know who it is. Right, so we go. So we're 76 overall. I'm on the left wing, which I prefer to play centre forward, but I don't think he's that sort of person, uh, that sort of uh, role. Anyway, so I'm going to show you through all the things on the menus that you can do. So if you go on my pro, you can do league objectives, which is, you know, keep an average league match rating of 6.8 or better, which that will be easy. And it gives you a lot of stuff to do. And so, yeah, and then you go on to upcoming targets, which I think that's exactly the same thing. I know. For the next games that I'm playing here on the left, where Sunderland, Liverpool, Stoke, and Southampton, if you look on the right there, it says you know average match rating, um, 7.1. Both last one said 6.8. I don't really get that, but you know, as you can see there, you can read them for yourself. And then you come down to my actions, which is the new best feature I think they added in. You can see here it says moral unknown, which I think he's not really that known in the whole world. Which Messi would be high, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. A match fit and then showing great potential. And you can tell there on the right, sprint speed 89, acceleration 89, balance 88, agility 85, and dribbling 85. So they are good stats, and the passing is not too bad, you know, you can always get that up. And then as you can tell here, request transfer and request loan and retire. So I could press that and retire right now. Go to manager for Arsenal, I think that's how it works, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go into my career, which I think that just shows you, like say, uh, how much you earn in a week and how much you're worth. And you can tell uh, appearances, wins, draws, loses, goals, and uh, goals. I think that's away goals, I'm not sure. And you just change through and go for that. 
And play of the year, no. Right, so my club, and you can just go through all that. And so there you go guys, um, this is really it for this episode. For the next episode I will have some goal highlights in and show you guys what it's like. And as you can tell here, league expectations for the season. Um, you can read through that if you want, and I just, you know, I went through it before, like I said. What I've got to do, like a 7.1 rating. So we can advance again, and Chelsea Keane on signing Benzema. Oh, that'd be pretty cool if he signed him. But it means when we play against them, it'd be harder to um, defeat. And Jenkinson's looks to impress. So sort of stuff like this, I'd have up just showing you guys little snapshots of what's going down. And, you know, you can pause the video and read it if you want. It's up to you guys. And so, yeah, we're going to skip forward to the bit where a guy emails you about you playing for England. Here we go. Phil Waite. So yeah, Alex, um, I know you're focusing on your career at Arsenal at the moment, but da 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 da, -da. Uh, There you go. So it's technically saying, um, if I do good at the team, um, England manager will pick me up and I'll be able to play for the team. So I'm guessing they would allow me to play anyway. And so there you go. Like stuff like this, just in, you know, just little transfer things. I'll add them in there at the end of the video. Just to keep the video going and add a little bit of difference to it. So anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. So hopefully you enjoyed and if you did be sure to um, like the video, some comment down below on things whether you'd like me to even offer a transfer request whether I should leave this club and go to another one and start my new career there. It's up to you guys but I'm going to start that sim and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already because these are going to be uploaded um, more or less every day if not be uploaded on the second day so you're going to see these a lot and thank you guys for watching and goodbye.